only weeks ago, the malevolent Saravak brought the city of Baldur's Gate to the edge of destruction. You, like him, are a child of Baal, the dead god of murder. Baal foresaw his own death and sired mortal children in an effort to bring about his return. Saravak intended to become the new lord of murder. You put an end to Saravak's plans and slew your half-brother. With his passing, you became known as the hero of Baldur's Gate. Now, a new threat casts a shadow over the city. A massive army on a holy crusade has thrown the Sword Coast into turmoil. Little is known of the crusade's leader, the charismatic warrior Kalar Argent. Those who follow her revere her as the Shining Lady, but her background and goals are shrouded in mystery. Some say she is divine, a hero sent by the gods to crush evil no matter the cost. Others whisper that she is another spawn of Baal, intent on following the same path as Saravok. One thing above all else is clear. If the Sword Coast is to find any measure of peace, Kalar Argent must be stopped. And thus begins Baldur's Gate, Siege of Dragonspear. This is Shane, Shane Plays. Thanks so much for watching this new Let's Play series. This is original content from developer Beamdog. They've done the Baldur's Gate and Baldur's Gate 2 and Icewind Dell enhanced editions that have sort of updated this beloved game franchise, one of the most well-known role-playing game and D&D computer role-playing game fran franchises out there. And what Siege of Dragonspear is, is it actually tells the story between Baldur's Gate 1 and Baldur's Gate 2. Baldur's Gate 1, you end a hero. Baldur's Gate 2, you begin in chains. So this tells the story of what happened in between. Uh, just released today, March 31st. So let's dig on in and see what it's all about. So I'm going to do a single player game. Uh, these icons down here, by the way, let you... Uh, you can play the original Baldur's Game experience, um, play Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, and then this is the uh, the Black Pits, I think. Yeah, the uh, let's see, yeah, the Black Pits, which is like a sort of combat arena style, increasingly difficult um, arena combat that you know you can level up your character and that sort of thing. So let's go with single player. And uh, you can import your game from Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. This, this expansion, even though it's 25 hours or so of gameplay, does require Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition to play. You can import your game from there, bring your characters in, or you can do a, uh, a new game or you can load an existing game. I'm going to do a new game, so we'll do a little bit of character creation. Um, so let's show the character creation. I'm going to do the gender of male. I, I just always do that. I never play female characters. Uh, and there's no game stat difference. I can't remember. The, Baldur's Gate is based on the second edition Advanced Dungeons and Dragons rules. It's up to fifth edition now. I can't remember if there was a statistical game difference between males and females. I know in the original D&D there was, but in Baldur's Gate there isn't. It's just a style choice. There's, of course, all the portraits that you can go through. I quite like that. Um, there's actually several nice portraits. There's Minsk and Boo. Of course, Minsk is in the game. So, let's see. Um, I, I went with this portrait during my first playthrough. I'm going to do that again. I just, I just kind of like it. Uh, there's a lot of great portraits in here. There's a custom option where you have to load some artwork into a folder on the computer, and then you can have custom artwork in the game. Um, so that's what I'm going to choose. Race, you know, you've got your standard half-orc, gnome, halfling, and there's all these bonuses and minuses down here. Dwarf, half-elf, elf. I'm just going to go with human. Sometimes I get very intricate with my character creation. Uh, for this, I'm probably just going to do a human fighter. Uh, class, here we go. You know, you could bard, thief, mage, druid, cleric, paladin, ranger, 
sorcerer, monk, shaman. Now they've added the shaman, um, which is a it's a spellcaster that has. Uh, I'm not going to play a shaman, but I'll spend a little bit of time on this. Um, it it's almost like you summon spirits to uh, to do things for you. So in other games, it would be. Um, not like a summoner. I'm trying to think of the word that I'm looking for. Like in Shadowrun, the difference between a mage and a um, and another character class type is where you actually summon spirits to do things for you, uh, which is what the shaman is doing here. Um, you know, you, it's got some armor restrictions, um, and it has different spells and things that it can do. You can do minor animal spirits, major animal spirits, nature spirits. Um, etc. So, uh, you know, without going too deep into it, uh, it just says they directly tap into the energies that flow through the earth and air, through plants and animals, and even through the dead, and shape these energies to obey their will. Um, similar to the way druids commune with nature, but shamans are more spiritual than primal. So, um, their ability to summon powerful spirits, spirits as guardians and defenders. Again, I'm not going to play a shaman. Just thought I would point that out because it's new with Siege of Dragon Spear, from what I understand. And I'm just going to go with a straight fighter. And for the kit, you know, of course, you can be a barbarian, wizard slayer, uh, berserker, and, and Minsk, if I remember right, is a berserker. Um, or this Kensai is kind of neat, uh, where you get incredibly specially trained with one weapon, and you can spend key points or kai points with it. Um, but you can't wear armor, so I, I'm just going to go with a straight fighter and, and be done with it. So uh, alignment. Now, alignment in this is interesting one I'm a, I'm a fan of alignment in D and D anyway I know a lot of people aren't but especially in tabletop D and D it, it it it's fun for role playing and you know kind of trying to pick a character and play that kind of character some people don't like it and I understand that I I've always liked it but in this game evidently based on what I've read and um, uh, there's a there's a new forum or a new thread at the RPG Codex where people are talking about what companions you get and it seems from our experience that and, and from what I read from a post from like a year ago about this game, that the alignment you choose determines what characters you get. So last time I went in my first playthrough kind of messing around, and I'm actually kind of re-recording this because I was very unhappy with the audio quality. And it also, you know, let me kind of get a better handle on the game. I'm going to go with Chaotic Good because uh, I, I tend towards Chaotic Good in most of my D&D play. I went with Neutral Good um, based on the explanation i liked it you know it's if if good means supporting the organized society great if good means throwing the over the existing social order so be it i like that description but in general um you know i like chaotic good their actions are guided by their own moral compass which although good may not always be in perfect agreement with the rest of society so I, i'm gonna go with chaotic good just to see what what um companions i get because I, I liked a couple of my companions. I got like Minsk and a couple others, but I wasn't, you know, I'm curious to see what else I get with Chaotic Good. Abilities, here we go. Uh, let me re-roll. Oh, the re-rolling. I actually, <clears throat> goofing around, rolled a, uh, this is actually pretty good. Um, 1826. I, goofing around, I Earlier, I actually rolled like an 1895 or something. I bet you I, sh I should have stuck with that 1825 I had a second ago. Uh, let's see. I should have stuck with that. All right, I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to go with this and, and balance things out. Uh, strength. Uh, I'm going to take some points away from Wisdom. Let's give him an average wisdom. Give him hey, 1844. I'll take it. Um, I want to get his constitution up to at least 14. Um, dexterity can be 13. That's fine. This actually is not bad. Uh, average wisdom, average. His intelligence can go down. I'd probably like to take his charisma up just a bit. Um, I think that's pretty good to start with. Uh, let's see if I can get his constitution up another point. That'll work. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with these rolls. That's not bad. 79. 
roll of 79 total. I think the average is about 75 or 76. Uh, I'm not sure what store does here. I guess you, you can save the roll and come back to it maybe. But I'm done. Let's just keep going. And skills. One thing I, I noticed in my original playthrough is, you know, you start this game at 7th level. It's like assuming that, you know, you did Baldur's Gate 1 even if you didn't. Um, and you start at like seventh level with equipment and you know magic weapons and that sort of thing so and it seems to be based on the skills you take so i definitely want him to be two-handed weapon style fighter um so i'm just giving him um two-handed sword and then i'm also going to give him um a longbow so so he's got three points of two-handed sword he's got two points of two-handed weapon style and longbow so um, and with that two-handed weapon, I get a further negative two bonus to speed factor, um, and I get a plus one bonus to damage rolls, and then by being, let's see, with the long two-handed sword, by being three slots, I get plus three to hit and plus three to damage, and an extra one-half attack per round with selected weapon, so he's, he's a beast with a two-handed sword, basically. Uh, appearance, there's a lot of different options in here, I'm not... I don't spend a lot of time. I, there's a lot of games where I've spent all this time on it, and then it doesn't end up making a whole lot of difference. So, um, you know, I'm just not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. You know, do we, does he, can he have black hair? I guess that's kind of what his portrait looked like. Um, skin and leaves. Give him a little bit of... Give him a little bit of... artistic style on his what he's wearing. That'll work. Okay. Do I want to... Maybe I'll give him... Now I'll give him dark hair. Can I pick here? I guess not. I guess that's just this range and that's it. There's not actually any black. But anyway, works for me. Um, just going through the game earlier, I really love this aggressive male voice. You got this coming! <laughs> so I'm going to stick with that. But if you want to hear some of the voices... All will die. Go, go, go! Now you're going to be sorry! Feel my power. Green Lantern's light. Sorry. For justice! Let's give them a right thrashing. A right thrashing. Death to you all! But I love the aggressive. You got this coming! You got this coming. I think that's one of my new favorite sound bites in general. All right, and then name. I called him Basher McBashy first time around. So, you know, I used to get all super serious about, hey, he's got, you know, Basher McBashy. Even though he doesn't really bash, um, I, I, I quite like that name. So um, I've loosened up over the years. I wanted everything to be super serious, you know, and, whatever, but after all these years of playing computer role-playing games, he can be backer, Basher McBashy. All right, and that's it. Let's create the party and see what I get. I'm curious what, uh, what uh, uh, companions I'm going to get at Chaotic Good. Except. Okay, and there, there was this create party thing where I guess you can create your own party rather than getting assigned companions. I'm not going to do that. Um... I guess I could give him bi um, a biography. Oh. Well, here's my biography. I'm getting one. Uh, I guess you can change it if you want, which I'm not going to mess with any of this. I, I know that a lot of the appeal of, like, Baldur's Gate and Neverwinter Nights and those games is all this lore. And it's weird because I love to read, and I, and I love very descriptive novels. But in my computer games, I like a lot of dialogue, but I, I, don't, I don't read a lot of the back histories on the weapons and the little notes and books and stuff I find. So... All right, let's accept. And here's all the different, anywhere from story mode where it's easy and you cannot even die in combat, so you're just working your way through the story, um, all the way up through Legacy of Ball, which is basically like an Iron Man mode where, um, you know, you, you can't change it. The enemies are incredibly tough, insanely difficult, um, you know, and, and you can't change it during the course of the game. Um, there's insane, hard, etc. I'm going to go with core rules. The setting is aimed at veteran players who are well-versed in AD&D mechanics. Remember, this game is based on AD&D 2nd Edition. 
Enemies are deal full damage and employ advanced combat tactics. Slightly stronger enemy types appear and enemy groups are more varied. So having read through it earlier, that's where I'm going to go. If, if this ends up being too easy, I'll probably bump up to hard. Although playing with it earlier, the, the battles were already quite challenging. So let's venture forth. Sarawak's dead. Everything's a mess. We should have gotten out of the city days ago. No chance of that now. But Corlash knows what she's doing and... Hey, did you hear that? We'd better tell the boss. Come on. Ugh. Smells like moldy bones down here. Bones and evil! That is the stench which Minsk sniffs. Good, I kept Minsk. Curious to see who my companions are going well, to be. Well, here we are in a creepy old Hey, it's Emowyn. The last of Saravok's followers are down here. According to the Flaming Fist, all you gotta do is find their leader and bring her to justice. Uh, what do we know of our prey? They possess evil hearts if they followed Saravok. Their loss will not be a green one. That's Dinah here. That's one of my companions that is an invoker. They're mostly mercenaries, led by a wizard named Corlaz. This is her family's tomb. She aided Saravok, and the Grand Dukes want her dead or alive. We'd better be careful. We? Will you be joining me? I really want to. I wouldn't be much help, though. Ever since I asked Duke Janath to teach me how to sling spells, She's had me cooped up in the stuffy old library, studying boring books about the Weave. She only let me come down here after I promised to bring her any arcane scrolls or tomes I could find. Alright, that's unfortunate. It's probably best to do as Duke Janath says. Tell me what we know of those we hunt. They're mostly mercenaries, yeah, led yeah, by blah, blah, a wizard blah. Okay, let's Corlan. get to it then. I'll follow behind you with these flaming fists. If you need help with anything, just ask and I'll do what I can. All right. There's a healer here too. Talk to her if you need any bandaging. She also knows all about fighting undead. Okay. Uh, let's see. Time more is shine on you. Not oh, that you'll need it. That'd be so great if she would have said Basher McBashy. Okay. It's a little UI thing, I can just grab that and drag this up and down at will. So, you know, of course the Enhanced Edition that Beamdog has done with um, the game is they've made some UI changes. And one of them is, if you'll notice, all the characters or all the NPCs and whatever are outlined in sort of a thin black outline and that helps them stand out against the background. Which, evidently, there's a lot of battle, I mean, there's battles in here that there's like hundreds of people on the screen or something, so uh, they they said that helps out quite a bit. It looks like yeah. what do you want? being chaotic good versus neutral good, I, the party is the I same, because yes. I've got Minsk, I've yes. got Khalid, Nature servant I've got awaits. Jahira, you want me? I've got Safana, that and kind. I have Dinah here, and these were the same uh, companions I had in neutral good. So maybe it's good, neutral, evil. Maybe maybe that's how it changes. Not not based on the very you know the variations between each. So, all right. We've also got um, these. I think they're what flaming fist mercenaries. That um, I, and and this flaming fist cleric over here, and and she's basically kind of like a a, a roving vendor that will. Uh, you could talk to her and get healed or buy stuff off of her and that sort of thing. Um, speaking of, we start with, let's see if I can get to the inventory, uh, 30,000 gold pieces. Um, Dinah here looks like she cast stone skin or something on herself, so she's looking like that right now. Um, this is my character, and I've, I've already got, you know, practical defense plus three armor. Um, you know, I've got this Spider's Bane plus two, two-handed sword. 
which helps me keep from getting webbed or you know restrained and stuff like that. So the point is, uh, Golden Girdle of Ernst, which gives me you know armor class versus slashing attacks. I've got this Cloak of Valderon, which is armor class plus one, magic resistance plus 25%. The, p the point is, you start the game quite ready to, um, quite quite well equipped. So it, it, it's interesting that you don't start at like level one and you go kill a rat and, and, and Matt Barton, if you happen to be listening, there's nothing wrong with killing a rat. I'm just saying that you start at, you know, seventh level, basically, w ready to uh, adventure. Like, as you've already been adventuring. In fact, you're halfway, it looks like, to level 8 um, when, you, when you start. So, uh, and then that's kind of interesting that they, that, you know, you just, and it, and it makes sense because it's it's the story between Baldur's Gate 1 and Baldur's Gate 2. Um, you want boo? I love dungeons. They're usually bursting That's with my gold. thief. Safana is my Sweetheart? thief. Sweetheart? Now, one thing I, I, I learned through my last playthrough that I'm going to do right now is I'm going to readjust some of their spells. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go over here to the spell book. And let's see. Definitely going to give her maybe one Burning Hands, another Identify, a couple more Magic Missiles, and let's see, a Chromatic Orb. Um, so... And, you know, as you notice, not even all the spells are, for, for her first level, weren't even filled in. So, see, if you're going to play this, go in and, and readjust the spells right off the bat. Um, web, of course, is, is good. Uh, not so worried about mirror image to have two of them. Knock. Uh, opens locked, held, or wizard locked doors. I, you know, I, I guess it could be handy to have one of those. I'm going to do a uh, Glitter Dust. What is that? Uh, uh, can blind people. I'm going to do this Aganar, Aganazar's Scorcher. Um, I like that quite a bit. So what did I do here? A glitter Dust. I don't want that. I want a Scorcher. Okay. Then I'm going to go to third level. And she's got... What does she have? She has Protection from Normal Missiles and Haste. I'm going to get rid of that... Um, and I'm going to maybe, do I want to dispel magic or another fireball? Oh, that's hard. Or a monster summoning one. That would be nice. Oh, man, fireball is so handy. And this is a combat-oriented game. I'm going to dispel magic. Um, okay, and then stone skin. You know, it's nice and everything, but I, I just... Not, I don't want it. Okay, I want. She had fire shield and stone skin memorized. I'm gonna memorize ice storm and monster summoning two. And then I don't get any fifth level spells. Looks like, yeah, can't memorize any. Okay. Um, and now let me go to my druid here. Um, it's the closest thing I have to a cleric. And uh, let's see here. Entangle, I'll keep one. Armor of Faith, she can only, yeah, cast it on herself. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh wait a minute, let me get rid of that. And hmm, probably another bless. And then. Uh, I've got one in Tangle. Maybe another Cure Light Wounds. Because like I said, she's the closest thing I have to a cleric. Uh, Charm Person or Mammal. Bark Skin. I'll keep one Bark Skin because I can cast that on the people. I've got a Charm. Uh, flame Blade. Uh, yeah, I'm just not... I don't know if Flame Blade is all that great. Slow Poison might be worth having, but I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to do one Flame Blade, and I'm going to do another Charm Person. I'm thinking more combat-oriented, you know, because computer RPGs do tend to be very combat-oriented. Um, let's see. Cure Disease would be great. Call Lightning would be good, but that only works underground. I mean, it only works above ground, and it won't work underground. Um... 
so I'm going to basically um, just give her three cure medium medium wounds because like I said she's the closest thing I have to a cleric and I don't think anybody else can do it Minsk evidently is a ranger but I guess his wisdom is high enough or something to get spells because he doesn't he doesn't get any spells um, and that's it so I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna rest and change up that spell situation You creepy spider. It's a spider. Whoa, got interrupted. What the heck? That wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, okay. <laughs> I can't turn undead. Uh, I don't think. I don't think my cleric yes, can turn oh undead. Omnipresent authority figure. Uh, yeah, let's just huh? fight. What did I get here? Skeletons? Let's just fight. How's everybody looking? Alright, did everyone get there? Okay, so I got some loot from the skeleton. What you got? Yeah, I'll get right on that. see if by demand if she got her spells uh, I don't think so I think they got interrupted uh, what about you You've a task? yeah I'm pretty sure they got interrupted what does this do Hoping that would tell me what that button does. What, oh, this is showing, I think, what I can loot off the ground. Yeah, I'll take the arrows. And I need a bow for my guy. What else can I get? I don't want any of this other stuff. Okay, who picked that Make up? Her? Servant awaits. Yeah, give this to him. Give this to him. All right. So yeah. Now he has want? a bow, and he didn't have one before. Okay. So, I, should huh? I try to rest again? I really want to get my spells. So I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to pause the game so you have to watch me rest over and over and over until I get my spells. So I'm going to pause the video, or not the game, but the video real quick, and try to knock that out. Okay, that rest was successful, so let me make sure hmm. that everybody got their spells. Yeah, definitely. Everybody got their spells. Okay, I love it. All right. So. What you got for me this time? We're going to head... Oh, uh, let me talk to this here. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Make you sure everybody's got in my sight. some, uh, enough healing potions and stuff, so... Don't need any spells cast. Um, I want to give everybody at least one potion of extra healing. Does she, can she not get a potion of extra healing? What's up? There we go. Okay. Done. Let me go through yeah. the inventory really want? quick. Um, what have I got here? I don't even know what this is. Potion of Stone Giant drink. Strength. Elixir of Health. I'm going to move that down here. And I'm going to move this potion of extra healing up here. Uh, nine hit points. Okay. That's what the basic healing does. All right, what do you got here, buddy? You got a potion of extra healing already. All right, so you're about to have four. What is this? Potion of stone dry strength. And you've got, what, regular potions of healing? Let's take those down here, give you that. And people with lower hit points, they can get the regular potions of healing. What do you got here? Okay, so he's got potion of extra healing. So now he's going to have four. Potion of heal dry strength. What do you 
got here? You already got quite a few, don't you? Oh, now she's got ten. What is this? A wand of fear strikes terror into the heart of any creature. Okay, yeah, we're going to hold on to that. Elixir of health. We'll move that down here. She's got five scrolls of identify. All right. stuff. She's got potion of invisibility. That could be handy. And potion of perception. Okay. Alright. What's this quarterstaff plus one? What else does she have up here? A club plus one. one okay. Uh, I think we're about ready to go. Alright. I'm going to save. And we will move on. Huh? Now, Emmanuel doesn't come with us. Yeah, I'll get right on that. But she kind of hangs out in the area if we need to come back. You're too late. It's already gone. I can say, what are you talking about? Gone? What's gone? What are you prattling on about? You waste the last minutes of your life with idle chatter. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna say, uh, gone? What's gone? What are you prattling on about? Aren't you here for his sword? I thought. Come for Corlage. If she surrenders, I'll see to it. Both of you are treated fairly by the Flaming Fist. Tell me where the post sword. Why would I want it and where is it now? You shouldn't think. You're obviously unused to it. I'm going to say I've come for Korlosh. Timora be with you then. If you're full enough to cross Korlosh, you'll need all the luck you can get. And I'm pretty sure Timora is like the goddess of luck in the Forgotten Realms. Ah, my journal's updated. Let's take a look at the journal. Uh, or not. Maybe it was my quest. Yeah, I should continue to seek out Korlosh and her followers. Um, let's find Corlage and deal with her. Okay. What you got? Top of my to-do list. Hey, who's this? We're starting the game just right smack dab in the middle of a dungeon crawl. What do you love about that? I'm on. Now what do I do? All right, I'm on. What's going on? Where are you at? Let's talk to him on. Three drops of lemon balm oil. Mm -hmm. A half pinch of powdered silver. I say greetings. I say who are you? What are you doing in a tome full of traps and mercenaries? I say if you're a Corlage, I've come from you. If you're one of her followers, or you're my way. Either way, you're my enemy. I'm gonna say who are you? Oh, pardon. I didn't hear you come in. I'm conducting an experiment. Tell me about this experiment. In a tomb filled with dangerous mercenaries, right? Pull the other leg, lady. What are you up to? Give me a single reason not to slay you. I'm going to say, uh, right, pull the other leg. Oh, I'm creating an alchemical concoction to reveal magically concealed writings. Uh, a mercenary was supposed to guide me further into the tomb to find the component I'm missing. Okay. Just now, their leader summoned them away, though. She bid me stay here for my own safety. If you happen to come across Cobalt Moss and bring some to me, I'd be truly grateful. All right, there's several options in here, but I'm just going to say their leader, that would be Corlage. Say, I believe that is her name, yes. Okay, you believe? Either you know or you don't. Uh, as long as you're only here for your alchemical component, I have no quarrel with you. Stay here and don't interfere with my work. You lie well, but you must be an ally. And your treachery will now mean your death. I'm going to say, as long as you're only here for your alchemical component, I have no quarrel with you. If I see some, I'll bring it to you. She says, oh, thank you. Do come back if you find any. Okay. Uh, so I got another quest here in my journal. All right. The, the UI improvements, because I have not played Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. So uh, the UI improvements over what I remember of the Infinity Engine are, are pretty nice. So, I can either hit tab and reveal details, or there's this button here that I can do that. So, I'm going to reveal details and go do some... Yeah? What do you want? Uh, what? I'm going to do some, some shopping go here. Go for the ice boom! Go, go for, for the huh? ice! Rawr! Way, 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 way. No, why are we fighting? There's, there's no reason to fight. Stop. Uh, that, let's talk more that, was in it. that was a mistake. Um, 
<laughs> I didn't mean to. Okay, can you throw yes, a cure? Yes, oh, omnipresent authority figure. Well, if you wouldn't mind throwing a minor healing on Dingleberry here. Vita, wow. I can't believe I accidentally attacked him with Minsk. That didn't happen on my first play. What you but got anyway. for me this time? All right. Top of my to-do list. Let's go see what's Got a book. What else? A scroll. Two scrolls. Uh, like a couple of potions. And what is this? I got some gold and other stuff. So, let's take a look at what I just got. Yeah? What do you want? I want to look at your inventory. That's what I want. Okay, I'm going to give this scroll to my wizard. And I'm going to give that scroll to my wizard. What is this? A small bag is ideally suited for holding gems. The gem bag. And it's a container. So, I'm going to give that to my thief. And what is this? Wine. So, I guess it's just good for selling. Um, and then Elixir of Health, which I already knew about. Okay, so this this is one of those books that I mentioned earlier. It's a, you know, kind of lore of the Forgotten Realms. I'm not going to read it. Uh, like I said, I, I enjoy a good fantasy novel, and I, I enjoy dialogue and, and, you know, good story and discussions and games, but none of this, you know, Pillars of Eternity and um, Baldur's Gate and Neverwinter Nights, I just never stop and read this stuff. So... All right. I'm sure it's well written. Uh, okay, this missive is dated two days ago. Uh, gather all of your spare equipment in the supply room. We depart in two days, and this is written to Porios, and that's the guy we were talking to who gated in and was like, you fools, are you looking for the sword? All right, since we put Saravok's sword on the ship to Athkatla, a suspiciously high number of people have become aware of this location. We must move quickly before the Flaming Fist arrives. If fortune smiles upon us, we'll be in Zasaspur within the week. Lodge, and that's our enemy we're looking for. Now this is neat. I, I don't know if the other previous Baldur's Gate had this or not, but I, but I like this. You hit copy note, and then you can go to your journal and go to your journal, and it's in there. So that's nice. I like Keep that. Keep watch for ancient tombs or any scrolls that might contain lost arcana. Okay. So huh? let's move on. Way ahead of you, boss. And if I remember right, my thief is always searching for traps. I like that. That's a nice... What you got for me this time, yeah? What do you want? I want to open this door. That's Top of my to-do list. Let's see what's around here. Oh. What's all this, then? Another... Oh, looks like a scroll of magic missile. If I... Unless I miss my guess. Gold, some kind of potion, and a skull for some obscure huh? reason. Let's go back to the inventory. Uh, it's just a skull. Alright. That's weird. I'm going to give that to the wizard. Uh, we're going to give that to the wizard. Potion of invisibility. We're going to give that to our thief. And then that's the elixir of health that I already knew that I had. And that's the bottle of wine. Okay. So let's go to you. All right, identify. I've got six of those now. A protection scroll of some sort and a magic missile scroll, which would be nice to have. All right, so let's identify this. We're going to use a uh, spell. And it's a protection from cold scroll. All right, so. And now let's open yeah, this Yes, I'll get right on that. Oh, look at this. What you got for me this time? It's a tattered skeleton. And your hells are missed. You've attacked. Such creatures of evil must be destroyed. Alright. So these three automatically went to ranged combat. These three went into melee, which I like. Now I don't I I'm not sure I like her throwing these spells that often. I mean she's just like immediately casting you know, mirror image and all this stuff, but maybe there's a setting I can change on that. Yeah? What do you want? 
Yeah, we should go Where over here. You, boss? Um, is there anything? No, I do have some loot here I can get. Yeah, I don't care about that. Show you a couple other things here in the interface. Um, let's see, for load game. No, actually, hmm, I just saved, so yeah, I think I'm safe doing that because I just quick saved. So uh, you get four quick save slots. So you get quick save, quick save two, quick save three, quick save four. Um, and that, that's that's the quick save I just did. And then this this beginning here earlier, there's where I, um, where that's that's my previous playthrough I was messing around with. So let's go to quick save and load that. That's where I was. All right. And let's see what else we got here. Um, for gameplay, there's some. Options here, don't switch to melee after depleting a single ammo stack. I'm going to leave that off. No difficulty-based damage increases. Let's see what that says. Prevent your characters from taking more damage on difficulty settings higher than core rules. So I'm not going to... I'm, I'm on core rules anyway. Max HP on level up. I'm not enabling that. Repeatedly cast healing spells on rest until fully healed. Otherwise, currently memorized healing spells are cast once on rest. Uh, doesn't work in multiplayer. I haven't... I don't really understand all the different uh, implications of that without thinking it through. And story mode is you cannot die, and you're on easy difficulty, so you can just go through it and get the story and don't worry about dying and all that. So, of course, you can assign hotkeys and you have all these other um, options and, and whatnot. So, yeah, what do you think? Off we go. Though I can see in the dark. Oh, look at this bad guy. I still prefer the surface. So. By called. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. How many fireballs have I got? I think just one. Or... Let's see what I want to do here. I think I did chromatic sphere, right? Yeah, chromatic orb. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this guy with it. And then everybody else. Huh? Attack this guy. Oh, that. I got yes. rid of my chromatic orb. We'll put it on this guy. And then. Nature servant awaits. I want you to bless us, dear heart. Okay. Let's fight! Go, Ow! So that chromatic orb did something to this guy. Oh, I don't want to do that. No, no, no. What you got for me this time? Uh, just take these guys out. That's what I want you to do. Uh, okay, she's taken. Me? A little bit of a beating, so I want you to drink a healing potion. How's everybody else doing here? Yeah, what do you want? Let's take this guy out. Well, he seems. What's going on with him? He's barely injured, but I think he's. I don't know, I don't know if he's stunned Victory! or not. Let's take him out. Stop and help me. Whoa, she's about Sweetheart? to die. Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. Get a healing on her. Alright, what all's going on here? I think that's a caster. Yeah, we need to get him. I Take this guy out. Huh? Take this guy out. Go for the eyes! Go for the eyes! Looks like my guys got charmed here. Pretty sure they got charmed. What is that? Let's see if there's somewhere I can see what conditions are on my character. Um, 
Is there any anywhere where we can see what conditions are on them? Information, uh, stats, class, skills, abilities. I'm looking for more information. Okay, so he's held. All right, that's what that means. So I think I'm going to be okay. What you got for me this time? But we got to get rid of this guy. You're mine now. And I'm going to go ahead and have her throw a magic missile on you back here. Now let's go ahead and take this guy out. All right, so the magic missile now, took care of. What do you want? That caster. My magic will end thee. Okay. So I just gotta wait for this holding to finish because I'm not gonna. Well, she automatically threw some healing spells. I'm not gonna waste a, a uh, dispel magic. I'll just wait for this to end. You've attacked? Yeah, get get some more healing on big guy here. Nature servant awaits. Just healing. Okay. He's still held. Okay, they're good now. Yes. Uh, man, I don't want to waste how many points. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on what I've got as far as potions and spells for the moment. Um, let's see. I do want the arrows. I don't think I want anything else. That's a nice little thing where you can just see everything that's on the ground. I like that. Huh? Way ahead of you, boss. Mm. Right. I already know that there's no locks or traps in this area for my previous playthrough, but... Just for grins, I'll play it like I normally would. Okay. And I do know that this door is locked. And we are going to pick that lock. Gain 17 experience points for picking that lock. Let's get that door open. And let's get on in here. What you got for way ahead of you, boss? What's in here? And it's a mummy in a bad mood for being woken up. More intruders. Fenagonoral. More noise. You will disturb my rest no longer. I will destroy you. Say, forgive me, I didn't intend to disturb you. Others who have taken refuge here, they are the ones I seek. Or I can say I can't possibly be making more noise than all the mercenaries clattering about. Or I can say you're the one about to be destroyed, foul creature. I'm going to say I can't possibly be making more noise than all the mercenaries clattering about. And he says, you are not one of those vermin that infest this hallowed place? And I can say, certainly not. Let me pla pass, and I swear I will see them driven from this place never to return. Or I can say they're no friends of mine. I gather you're not fond of them either. Or you're the only infestation here. I'm going to say, certainly not. If you are against them, then I task you with their destruction. Remove their leader, and the rest will scatter. Return to me when this is done. Um, say so I will restore peace, or I can say you think to give me orders, wretch, think again. Or, I'm not here to serve you. Luckily, your wishes align with my own. I shall do as you say. And that's what I'm going to go with. I'm not here to serve you. Do not fail me. Alright. The mummy's orders. My first step is defeat Corlage. So I have multiple steps with the mummy here. What's going on? Uh, where's my journal? Quest. The mummy's orders. My first step. Let me bid me return to it after I finish my business with Corlage. Okay. Why not? Corlage or Corlage? Yeah. Or you what do you want? Top of my to-do list. Okay. This next fight is a bit of a pain. Uh, I'm hoping. Now that I've kind of gotten the rust off of my Baldur's Gate Infinity Engine skills, that it'll go a little bit better. But it took me several tries 
the first time because quite frankly people kept dying <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna give it a shot and, and see what I can get done here so huh? uh, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this who's my Kaylee's my help you? toughest you guy so I'm gonna better. send him over here back away Back away and you might survive this. All right, so that's Porios, or Porios, or whatever. That's the guy who gated in and smack talked me a while ago. Uh, and I can say, lay down your arms. I've no wish to hurt you. I can see that's what the last fellow said. Well, he would have said it if I hadn't killed him first. Attack me and you'll die. Surely the sun will rise in the morn, and you would have me retreat from you. You just surely. I'm going to say, lay down your arms. I've no wish to hurt you. I'll leave my blade in your guts, mongrel. And there we go. So. Uh, yes, I run. Can do it. Okay. Hmm? So pre from previous experience, this is a really nasty fight, and I didn't have a fireball because I had used it on a previous fight. So first thing I'm gonna do is throw a fireball <laughs> and see if that helps. <laughs> I didn't have that last time because I had used it on the previous fight. We come for you anyway. Well, scrub devil. All right, there's a wizard in here. I don't know if he's still alive, but there was a wizard who caused me no ends of problems. That's him, that follower of Sarabok. I've got to take this guy out. What you got for me this time? I want him gone first. Suffer the wrath of the arcane. <laughs> There he is. He's still going. And? I want you to magic missile him. Because he's nasty. He caused me. He charms and does all kinds of crap. And yeah? I just, what do you want? I don't like him. I hear. He caused me a lot of problems my first several goes at this battle. <laughs> he's still alive. I called. Taking this guy out. Gotta take this guy out. Your need. Alright, the wizard's down due to the power of magic missile, which remains, after all these years, still my favorite spell huh? in all of DD history. Alright. I had to, I cast it at the darkness. Another ally lost. How many more must fall before this? Oh, see, she's dead. Ends. See, she's dead. She's she just she just dead, and that's it. So reload time. I mean, it's like how did she even die? Everything was going pretty well. Uh, well actually, I'm gonna do a quick load. Let's do a quick load. This battle is just hard to keep everybody alive. Um, you know, it's just hard. I, yeah. What do you want? Can I help you? Yeah, go open this door because you're the toughest guy in my party, even though you're a coward. Back away. Yeah, lay down. I'll leave my blade him. in your guts, mongrel. All right, just do the same thing. Y yes, at you once. Run over here. I called. You get fireball off right here I want you to Nature throw what awaits. and entangle back here alright alright a flat gotta take some people out Follower of Sarak. It says, I give, I give. Morale failure running. Uh, I think I took him out with the fireball, which is incredibly handy. And I'm not complaining one bit. Huh? Oh, no. He's, do I have more? Is there more than one follower of Sarak? Oh, no. That's Porios. Okay, that's the guy that's causing me so many problems. Okay, take out Porios with the mat. Where? See, she's charmed. He ran in there and charmed everybody. Ah! And she's charmed, so I can't use the spell magic. She's charmed, and she's charmed. So what you got for me this time? Take this guy out. 
This happened before. See this, uh, this dude's just running around like crazy, just zooming around. The same thing happened. I don't know if it's a bug or if there's some sort of spell effect or UI. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Um, setting that I'm not aware of. <laughs> Took a little bit of a beating. I'm gonna drink one of those for you. Yeah. Every, everybody, you that, everybody that can, come get on this Here archer. Comes of See, this guy's just zooming. I don't know if that's a bug or what. It just turns into this mini hill routine. Take this guy out. It's ridiculous. Yes, oh omnipresent okay, I can authority figure. I can use her again. I can't use her. I can't use You've her. Attacked? Yeah, I want you to charm this guy. She was way off. She'd run way off over here. How's everybody else doing? Huh? You want boo? Yeah, I want you to kill this guy. Go for the ice See the zooming? I don't, I don't know what's going on here with the zooming. If somebody's watching this, you can leave a comment and help explain me what the heck is going on with the Benny Hill fast motion comedy routine. I would very much appreciate it. Take this guy out. Come on now. Yes. Ow. You would have run too in my place. All right, there's a guy over here. You want me? Get out of here, because they keep killing you. By the man. Magic missile. This guy. Who's this? Nature servant awaits. I think that's it. Okay. Well, believe it or not, that went I better <laughs> than you what you got for me this way. Uh, than my previous attempts at that, my first playthrough. I was just, I kept losing characters. Some, somebody would die. No matter what, and it was that that Porios guy. Um, so first of all, let's. Uh, yes, oh omnipresent authority figure. Get a healing on him. He's hurt. And that's it for my healing spells. So probably do a rest here in a second. Let's see what kind of loot we got. Ooh, that looks nice. Take that. That looks nice. That looks nice. Uh, what else we got? That looks nice. That looks nice. This stuff looks magic. What is that? Uh, I guess I'll hold on to all the magic stuff for now, assuming it'll sell well. All right, I'm going to do some um, identifying and resting, and I guess we'll search this room here, and then that'll be the end of the video because we're about at an hour Keep watch already. for ancient tomes or any scrolls that might contain lost arcana. Yeah? What do you want? Where'd all that stuff go? Okay, you picked everything up. What is this? A cloak. It's definitely a... A magic cloak. Can she identify? No, she can't. I didn't think so. Done. We have to give this to her. I don't know how much stuff she can carry, but she's got to do the identifying. This is some old school. <laughs> it's right here. It's like drag everything over to the wizard. The thief at a certain level can start identifying stuff too, if I remember right. 
Maybe I'm getting my editions of D&D confused. I am not a servant to carry so much. Yeah, she I can't have carry all it. that. Uh, yeah, I can't identify with her. All right. Let's identify the cloak. Using a scroll. Cloak of Minor Arcana. Caster level plus one. Lore plus ten. Generates a random arcane scroll of level three or below. Hmm. What is she wearing right now? A traveler's robe. Armor class plus one. Save versus breath plus one. Okay. You are definitely going to start wearing... Does that mean it has ten charges? Wrong item type. What do you mean? Oh. What is she wearing? Cloak of protection plus one. Alright. I'm definitely going to get rid of this. I wonder if anybody else needs a cloak of protection. What do you got? Whispers of Silence. And this is old school. Charisma plus two. All right. Polymorph into a wolf at will. Duration two turns. Hmm. Cloak of Protection. And Cloak of Balderon. Armor okay. I'll probably just sell it then. Identify this bow. Why can I not identify it? Longbow is similar. I'm assuming it's. Oh, I think that just means that that red means that they can't use it. Duh. Not that it's magic. Uh, arrow plus one. Let's move all this stuff to the ground. I got confused. The red doesn't mean that it's... Oh, I will give him some more arrows. The red does not mean magic. It just means unusable. Still a little rusty. Still a little rusty. Alright. You can drop your stuff too. Oh, what is this? Composite longbow. Damage plus two. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you that composite longbow up here. Bashy McBasher. Because that's just a regular longbow. Yeah, we'll give you that composite. Let's, uh, let's try to do a rest. I wonder if I can go huh? in here with this Way guy. Ahead of you, I wonder boss. if he'll let me rest with him. Yeah, that's not very secure, is it? <laughs> well, it's kind of secure. Oh, what is this? Ah. I'm going to try to rest. I don't have a cleric, so I can't do my um, turning undead, which sucks. I'm going to just pause the video through all this stuff, because I'm just trying to get a rest going. Alright, so I got rested. It took me a few tries. And, uh, looks like you don't really... Man, this is old school. I didn't really heal my during my rest. So... Yeah? What do you want? I'm going to go buy some more healing stuff off of this, um this cleric over there again I'm not gonna record all that I'm just gonna go buy some stuff okay I came back and found M.O.N. and the Flaming Fist mercenaries um, if I remember right M.O.N. can talk hey she, she has something to say How are yeah. things going? the century that spoke to me mentioned a sword that was already gone what well, can you tell me about this place I'm more concerned about you how have you been doing these past few weeks uh, how have you been doing these past few weeks M.O.N.? it's strange having these new arcane powers back in Candlekeep I never dreamed I might be a spellslinger like Gorion someday. Life sure has taken us to unexpected places. You more than me, I guess. It gets on my nerves, a spellslinger. It's, I don't know, it just doesn't, you know, 
I don't know. It's like almost magic's almost mundane. I'm just a spell slinger, but I, I don't know. What made you decide to study magic? I hope you make a better mage than you did a thief. Hey now, dusty old tombs sure make you grumpy. Let's keep moving. Uh, wait, I actually do want to know what led you to study it magic. It seemed practical. After all the weird places we've been, I thought it would help if I knew a couple spells and could figure out what the magical gadgets we find are for. Then, well, I had a knack for it. Magic. I like studying my spells and remembering how Garion would do the same back in our Candlekeep days. Feels like I still have a connection with him, you know? Say, let's keep moving. We'll follow behind you. I've got your back. Yeah. Hey, yeah. How are things going? A sword that was already gone. I kind of saw a note on Duke Janath's desk. It fell on the floor, and I, I just picked it up. Honest. It said someone broke into the palace and took Saravok's sword. Could that be it? Perhaps, but why would she be interested in it? Items that belong to powerful individuals can develop unique powers of their own. I must trust any who would seek out such a dark artifact. I don't know why Corlaz would take the sword, but if it's gone, she must have given it to someone else. Maybe we can find a record or shipping log in our chambers. It's worth looking into. We'll follow behind you. I've got your back. Okay. search this little chamber where we beat on these dudes and then that's I'm gonna call it the end of the video the other thing on the map um, the map's pretty nice there's stairs down supply room whatever you know gives you some nice little notes but you can also I don't know if you can add your own notes evidently you can but um, this is also a neat that's it, another feature they've added where you can say, hey, show me where the the actual map area is compared to just the window dressing. So that's that's pretty nice. I like that. All right. No, there's another door down here. What do you know? arrows like crazy lots of ammo I should probably take some bullets for my other people that use slings I don't care about that swords lots of weapons it's interesting starting a game at seventh level because you're like yeah yeah I don't want that it's just cluttering up my huh where are you boss uh, I'm gonna have you want me? my thief yes, check dear. out this. Uh, I guess this chest is okay. Whoa, there's some magical stuff. No, I can't see no it's not magical. Dark. It's just I still prefer the surface. Can't wear it. This, this is pretty cool. These helmets and whatnot. Okay, helms, I should say. What you got for me? Top of my to-do list. Okay. There's one more little room down here I need to check out, but this video is already over an hour, so I'm gonna f I'm gonna finish here, and uh, that'll be part one of the Shane Plays Let's Play series of Baldur's Gate: Siege of Dragonspear. Um, if you liked the video, please leave it a like on YouTube, maybe a comment, and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching.